This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. I'm going to be playing with the Gym Knight FTK deck again, using Phantom Core and all that sort of stuff, because after that Mech Knight nonsense of me just... I, I actually want to play something that I have a lot of fun doing, that is also something that I don't care if my opponents just rage quit and leave because at the end of the day my goal is to never let them play a turn anyway. So I'm going to go and I'm going to have some self-fulfilling fun because I haven't played this deck in a long time. Um, I haven't played this deck in like a couple of weeks or something like that, a week or two. Um, and it's something that's incredibly fun to me. It's something that I just, I cannot get enough of this. I'm pretty sure there's a way to incorporate Skull Eaton here in some way. Uh, but I haven't even thought about it, but regardless, I, I, I just want to be a degenerate piece of shit for a video. Um, so I might do this and I might also film, <laughs> try to film a game with Dragoonity Exodia. Um, because that's, that's, that's the ultimate thing that I ended up doing with that infinite loop that I, that I created. That infinite firewall loop was just adding pieces of Exodia to my hand. I thought that wasn't going to be what I ended up doing, but it turns out it was just the easiest way to go about business. But anyway. <laughs> I'm just gonna play this deck. This deck is this deck seems fine. This deck seems fun. So, without wasting any more time, let's just jump straight into the first game and let's see how many people actually stick around. All right. So for the sake of full transparency, because I don't know what order these videos are gonna go out in, I'm assuming that I'm probably gonna put this video out before uh, the second Mech Knight video that I filmed. Uh, but regardless. Um, I spent two hours and 45 minutes filming that mech, both those Mech Knight videos between people just instant leaving, and by the end of it I just stopped caring. Um, Fluffle Dog, you're playing Fluffles and you chose to go first? Very interesting. Um, not my first choice, I'm pretty sure this, I feel like this deck is a better deck going second, especially with Master Rule 4, at least before you could like, make, uh, like, totally awesome with Bahamut Shark, because the deck does have, like, two waters, doesn't it? Or no, that was with, like, Norden. I don't even know if the deck can do that. <laughs> uh, interesting things. What is this? Fluffle Wings. Okay. Hmm. Special only Fluffle Mouse. You can special summon up to two copies of Fluffle Mouse. I'll max see that effect. Um... Because that just seems fine for me. Yeah, mouse. Uh-huh. Mouse. Uh-huh. That's a rabbit. Okay, that's really good. Um, these are just two really bad fusion decks playing against each other. <laughs> but this deck is so much fun. I cannot stop playing this deck. I, every time I'm playing something else, I'm just like, I wish that I was FTKing someone with Gym Knights. Um, but so, Polly. Okay, cool. The thing is, I, I love this deck because I don't have to out my opponent's board in any way, shape, or form. I don't have to do any of that. I, I, just, get to, I just get to mess around in ways that I want. King of the Swamp. Fair. Alright. Fright for Sheep. Unexpected Die. Hell yeah. Unexpected Die plus uh, Rescue Rabbit. Pretty good. Um, okay, so I don't know what either of those two cards are, but he's going to get a search off Toy Vendor. Very good. All right, what is that? That is Fluffle Penguin. Okay, so there is a water. All right, so there is a water in the archetype of all Earths, and that's how you went, like, Norden into uh, into stuff. All right, well, you made a bunch of a bunch of stuff on your board that doesn't actually matter, and I drew a Block Dragon, so I'm just going to kill you now. Uh, hope you enjoyed your fun in the sun, because your run is over, big boy. Um, so I'm going to activate this, getting... Two more copies of Lapis out of my deck just to get all of them out. <sighs> now I get to go into the Phantom Core. Uh, the Phantom Core. Um, yes, I'd like to use its effect to search for my Gym Knight Fusion. And he's got five special. He's got four special summon monsters on this field. This just becomes easy. Um, I can. Let's see. There are. Th there's a lot of Earths in my grave, but. Uh, at the same time, I don't feel like that's optimal usage. I could make uh, Lady Lapis Lazuli here. Um, that'll put more in my graveyard to use, which I can then banish for Block Dragon, which I can then link away with after I make... Yeah, alright, good. So we'll do this here. For Lady Lapis Lazuli, uh, for Lapis and Obsidian, and we'll summon Lady Lapis Lazuli here. 
Uh, and then Obsidian's effect will trigger, bring you back one of the Lapises. I'll bring it back way over here. Uh, and now I have access to the Gym Knight Fusion. Um, which can add back, I can get rid of Garnets um, to make a uh, to make a Zirconia, and then I can fuse away with it into something else. I don't even think I needed to make the Zirconia, but it's fine, because Lady Brilliant Diamond will do what I need it to do. So yeah, uh, we'll summon this Block Dragon from hand by banishing this from Grave, this from Grave, and this from Grave, because I only need one Lazuli. Um, so we'll summon this here. And then I can use this to shuffle back my stuff into a Lady Brilliant Diamond. So I'll put these back into the deck, summon Lady Brilliant Diamond here, once Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro catches up and assaults my ears with its one big audio cue um, that it loves to give. It just loves to give it. It just it can't stop. Um, so now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, there it is. Glad I got to experience that one. Um, all right. So I'm going to use this, tributing this for Master Diamond. Uh, and then I'm going to use, do I have a vanilla engrave? I do not. I can easily rectify that situation, though. Um, I can link away with this, um, this and the block dragon to get searches, which I can then put another monster on the field, da 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 da. Uh, there's a few different things I have access to, but at this point, there's, there's enough shit on the field for me to just burn people. Um, so I'll send Lapis, that's 45, uh, and now I can banish the Lapis for fusion. Uh, and then I'll add this back, and then I'll be able to fuse away with this and the Block Dragon into Zirconia, and I can summon the Block Dragon again. Um, so yeah, Zirconia with boom and boom. Now the Block Dragon will get searches. Uh, so Block Dragon will search for Obsidian, Crystal Rose, Obsidian, because I've already got a Lapis. So we just, we want multiples of these cards. <sighs> and now, I can activate the Gym Knight Fusion again, vanishing the Lady Brilliant Diamond, adding it back. And then I can activate this, fusing away with Zirconia, and two... I can fuse away with Zirconia, Obsidian, and Garnet uh, to make this Master Diamond. And then the Obsidian's effect will trigger, summoning the Garnet back. Uh, so this gets a summon over here. And then, how many Earths do I have in Grave? I've got, uh, I've got three, um, which I can use. But first, I just want to make sure that I don't mess this up. Um, I'll banish that first, and then I will special summon Block Dragon. I could just, I could have just used cards from my hand anyway, so it's not really that big of an issue. But I'll get rid of the Zirconia, summon this back, and now I can activate this effect to mill another Lady Lapis and burn for 5K. <laughs> See, I, I don't have to out your boards when you're, like, when you're playing this deck. You don't have to out people's boards, and that's, like, the most refreshing thing. And I was planning on winning in a single turn anyway all the times I play this deck, so I don't care if people leave. So, this is refreshing. I'm having a lot more fun by this point than I was with the Back Knight videos. Yes. Much, much more fun is being had. This deck's great. But, yeah, this deck is way too much fun. I cannot get enough of this. I wish I could just play this deck on my channel until the end of time. Um... <laughs> and it not get old, because that would be the best. Hey, we got Unexpected Die plus Brilliant Fusion plus Grinder Golem! Boy! Alright. We'll activate this for the Zirconia. I've already got a Block Dragon in my hand. I don't even know why I'm stressing about this, but you know what? Free interactions are free interactions. And we'll take them. Um, so Zirconia up here. Uh, and then I can go into the Phantom Core. Uh, and then I can just drop this golem as more special summon fodder um, later on. It's not even that big of an issue. Uh, but so, Phantom Core. Phantom Core's effect, yes. Add the Gem Knight Fusion. I've got a Lazuli in my hand already, so that's actually pretty powerful. It's pretty damn good. Um, the Block Dragon can banish these. Yas. Uh, so, Graveyard, Graveyard, Graveyard. Summon it back. And then use the Phantom Core to put all the stuff back into Lady Brilliant Diamond. Boink, boink, and boink. Lady Brilliant Diamond over here. And then tribute it 
for Master Diamond. Uh, just to get the extra name in the graveyard. And then we link into Summon Sorceress. Come on, there you are. Summon Sorceress over there. Use Block Dragon's effect. Nah, yeah. Summon Sorceress is fine. I can put another monster on the field. Um, I'll put this Block Dragon on his field. Um, just to be more special summon monsters. Uh, well, I can put the Lazuli over there. I can't put the Block Dragon over there. Sucks to suck. Uh, but so, I will add... I need to add Lazu. I need to add Lapis. I need to add Obsidian. I need to add Rose. Because I, I don't have access to... Uh, a lapis, unfortunately. Uh, but what I get to do now is I can go fusion and do some nonsensical stuff. Uh, fusion into the zirconia is first order of business with rose and lapis. Yeah, those into zirconia because then the rose can build a lazuli to add it back. Yeah. Um. So crystal rose activates. Activate crystal rose. Uh, Banishing Lady Brilliant Diamond, special this, and then I get to activate this Milling Lazuli to use its effect to add back my Lapis, and then I get to activate the Gem Knight Fusion by banishing the Lazuli to add that back, and now I can go uh, fuse into uh, Lady Lapis Lazuli here. Um, there's a few different things that I have access into. Yes. Yes. Um, I can fuse into Lady Lapis Lazuli here, uh, and the thing will come back over here. So, yes, we'll do that. Lady Lapis Lazuli with this and Obsidian. Over here, please. Uh, Obsidian's effect, yes. Bring it back. Over here, please. And then I get to use this to just mill any random card from my deck. Uh, I'll just mill this. And then I get to activate the Gym Knight Fusion, Banishing Obsidian, adding this back. Um, I forgot to special the Grinder Golem, but it also just doesn't matter. Uh, but so from here, I fuse with these two. Uh, I fuse with this and this and this into my Master Diamond, and then summon my Block Dragon, and then this specials. Yeah, that seems like that's seems like that's how this is supposed to go. Um, but we will, uh, we will activate this effect to summon a rock from my deck. So we'll summon an armadillo over here. And then I will special summon the block dragon by banishing this from grave, this from grave, and this from grave to summon this over here. And then I get to activate this master diamond, banish this, and I get to activate it again. To send the other Lapis Lazuli from my Shrek to the Grave. Now I get to activate this. Banish this. Now I get to activate this. Mill this. I, the motions are so hard-coded into my mind at this point. It's really sad, but it's also really fun. And the thing is that without the Brilliant Fusion, I still had the play because I have Grinder Golem. So, like, come on now. This is way too much fun for me. You cannot rob me of this. You can't. I wish not to be robbed of it. Some people say, can you show some duels of this deck going second? Well, maybe people are better at rock, paper, scissors, and maybe if people didn't win rock, paper, scissors and tell me to go first, then maybe we would end up with this situation. All right, so don't have Block Dragon, but I do have Rescue Rabbit plus Grinder Golem, which is good enough, because that means I get to go into Phantom Core, and I get to uh, I get to go into Phantom Core, and then I get to, uh, I get to, what's, what's my thought process? I get to um, make Kairos and Mill Block Dragon. Uh, Phantom Core searches the Gym Knight Fusion, and then uh, Kairos, uh, or excuse me, Curious, as its name is now. Oh, you have a Ghost Ogre. You're going to end my turn. No! Oh, well. Can't even pretend to not respect it. See? Grinder Golem's not a, not a huge issue. It's not. You, you, you the, I literally get fucked by Grinder Golem being disrupted. All of the Grinder Golem combos are super fragile. I've said this. If you didn't watch my Grinder Golem Explained video of like how to counter it and why it being counterable is super like vulnerable, then you definitely need to watch it because it's a good splashable link engine into any deck because it's just Grinder Golem. It takes up nothing else out of your main deck. 
but it's super vulnerable. It's vulnerable to Valor, it's vulnerable to uh, Ghost Ogre, it's vulnerable to um, to uh, World Chalice Guard Dragon, strangely enough. Uh, my opponent's playing World Chalice, yes. Come, come hither, come hither, come hither, tell me, tell me your secrets. Um, this person's playing Ghost Ogre in their main deck, which is something that is arguably fine. I'm not playing it in my current list. Um, it probably is something that should go back in, though, uh, because it is somewhat searchable. Uh, but currently in my regular World Chalice deck, I'm playing six hand traps. I'm playing Max C, three Ash, and two Droll and Lock in my main. Uh, and that's it. So let's see. Um, okay, well, he's he's done the play with Ebe and special this to get a search for what now? For World Legacy World Chalice. Uh, he's playing the level four. He's playing an objectively worse build because he's trying to play Baguska. Um, or Nat Beast. That's unfortunate. But, um... Let's see here. Why did... Okay. Okay, so now your World Legacy World Chalice is going to come down. I'm just curious as to why he, like, wasted his resources going into, uh... Why he didn't just get rid of the Grinder Golem. Um... And he had Gofu, too? Jesus, why did you not start your turn with Gofu? You summon Gofu, and you put your tokens here and here, and you use the tokens to... To free up stones first. What the hell? You had Gofu plus Venus plus Lee, and somehow you you have much, and you had a free Link material on the board because of my Grinder Golem. Yet somehow you have no hand, and you've done much less than you could have. Gofu is so valuable. Never get rid of that card if you have it. That card is three monsters. World Chalice is a numbers game. I've had to explain this to a couple of people before that weren't understanding like how they should be looking at it. World Chalice. See, look, you just. All you did was fuck up. All you did was mess up. And the thing is, you weren't even that. Yeah, look, at you You got rid of your World Legacy World Chalice, and you didn't have room to do anything to summon off the World Legacy World Chalice. I'm so actually upset. Like, people that play this deck and, like, don't play it that well are the reason why it has a bad reputation of, like, of, like, oh, it's not a good deck. No, this deck's actually broken. It just has a really high skill floor. World Chalice is a numbers game. If you're discarding Gofu for Lee, you're fucking you're fucking wild, man. Gofu is three monsters. You need to get to seven monsters on the field just to have an Ingirsu draw three. That's why Venus is so powerful because it's four monsters. That's why World Legacy World Chalice is so powerful. That card is always three to four monsters. Like you you need to do this. This is something you need to do, and you discarded Gofu. <laughs> I can't I can't deal with this person anymore. But anyway, yeah, that is gonna be it for this video. I just I needed to have a little bit of fun to clear my head. It doesn't make me upset nearly as much as I was getting upset filming the Mech Knight videos, and I am pretty sure this video is gonna go live before the second Mech Knight video where literally I just cannot deal with life anymore after I'm done with it. Uh, so I mean you'll see that tomorrow. So look forward to that if you're interesting interested in watching a man physically break down and rant uh, about the state of uh, having fun in Yu-Gi-Oh. But anyway. Other than that, as always guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, links as always are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you enjoy the content I've been doing and you like my content and want to support my ability to keep doing it, then Patreon is the best way to do so. And even something as little as a dollar a month would be a fantastic way to show your support. If that is a path you'd like to go down, you'd have my eternal gratitude. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I'll see you in the next video. Now that my head is fully cleared of all that was a problem for me earlier. So now the video is over, as usual I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertson, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, way more than I could ever express, you have my eternal gratitude, and you guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.